it's starting. Just like last year, it's cranking up again. That great machine that rolls through the highways and byways of Munster every mid-August. It's building up momentum. And in a few short months, this amazing team of cyclists will be ready to face every challenge that 650 long kilometres can bring. For us parents and friends of people with Down syndrome, the Tour de Munster has been an inspiration. On this year's team, there are several parents of children with Down syndrome. We asked some of them why they decided to take part in the Tour. I would have been inspired by what I saw on Patrick's Hill going back in 2010, um, seeing the effort that the people, not really associated with Down syndrome, but what they were doing for Down syndrome Munster, you know, at that stage and the, the, the amount of work they put in. So we were there at the time actually bucket shaking and um, that would have given us the kind of a few of us the incentive to say, look, could we maybe half-heartedly say, will we have a go at this? When I saw those people complete Patrick's Hale and go back to the hotel afterwards, it dawned on me that um, I could do more than be there waving flags, that I could be part of this and uh, contribute. And bought the bike in January and, uh, of 2011 and the rest is history. One tour behind me and looking forward to the, to the next one. I used to cycle to and from school, uh, which is basically two miles down the road and uh, from National School. So when I finished National School, I threw away the bike and basically haven't been up on a bike until last year when I started training for the Tour de Munster. So I was never really a fan of cycling, to be honest with you, which is uh, more for the greater cause. Great asked me to come into Cork to cheer off um, people from Tour de Munster. First of all, I saw all these people and how they were so fit and there was a kind of a shine off them nearly. And I saw the camaraderie between everybody and, and what they were doing and why they were doing it. And uh, I really wanted to support them and I wanted to be part of it. Thanks does not seem enough. So I said, if they can sweat it out and go through the aches and pains, for me and my daughter, I should be able to do it for us as well. So hopefully I will be able to do it. I'm looking forward to August, big time. It wouldn't be possible without Paul Sheridan. Like, I mean, he's the guy we look up to. He's the guy that drives us on, drives us on in training, drives us on in any weekend trip and everything like that. Our branches round Munster have been busy putting new programmes in place with the help of vital funds raised by Tour Cyclists in 2010 and 2011. You've already made a huge difference to the quality of life of children and young adults with Down syndrome and the work goes on. For example, thanks to the big injection of funds raised by last year's Tour, the Cork branch of Down Syndrome Ireland has been able to lease a comfortable modern premises in a good location with plenty of space. Here they run a customised speech and language therapy programme at a subsidised cost, designed to meet the needs of both children and adults. This would not be possible without Tour de Munster funds. The new centre also functions as a drop-in centre for parents and young adults. It's a place that's full of positive energy, with scope for everyone who uses it to develop and to learn. The Kerry branch are making good use of their share of last year's Tour de Munster funds too. As well as running speech and language therapy, occupational therapy, cycling and swimming lessons, they're bang up to the minute with their popular Zumba classes. And for the next two years, they will run a new literacy skills programme called Latch On Literacy. It's one of many life-changing programmes being delivered to Down Syndrome Ireland members around Munster because on their behalf, you went out there and asked people to help. Much to our surprise and delight, we've learned that our charity will benefit from funds raised by this year's Tour de Munster. 
the first charity ever to be named as the tour beneficiary three times. We know these are difficult days for Ireland's economy and everyone is feeling the pinch. We know it's not easy to ask for sponsorship, especially when you're asking the same people you asked before. So, to let you know how much we appreciate that, we're planning to be the best support team the tour has ever had. We're getting hats and stickers and lollipops to help our street collectors stand out from the crowd. We'll wear our purple t-shirts and our biggest smiles as we shake the buckets. We'll be there to cheer you on when the going gets tough. Hail, rain or shine, but hopefully it'll shine. We'll be with you all the way. Best of luck with your preparations and we're looking forward to meeting you in August.